How's it going on you beautiful people? My name is Susan Dragon, and we're gonna attack some more as your lane. Now we move on to A3, Corrosive Storm. Raging, churning, a black tornado tears through the simulation. An arbiter speaks a strange thing. Can her words be trusted? <laughs> this is Fortress. Correspondence number 1853. No response. Hey, do you think we'll ever be able to go home? I can't give a definitive answer to that question. But I can say this. Don't lose hope. There is always hope. You're right. It's funny. Never expected you to cheer me up. You're welcome. Pure white ball blind a pure white light glided constellation. When her vision returned, a landscape covered in ice and snow unfolded before her. Beyond the horizon was a colossal structure made of metal and ice, towering towards the clouds. <clears throat> Straining it with shards of ice, decorating it. This was the crown. Body lens connection is stable. I safely entered the abnormal data. I'm guessing this is where the crown out of the polar north is. Long way from the coral sea. This is a surprise, to say the least. I have data on the crown. I'm going to be recover from the coral sea. It doesn't make any sense. This is bad, Constellation. I think you've lost connection with the control room. What? But that shouldn't be possible in the reality lens. No, wait. I think that happened when Commander was investigating Anchorage's whole abnormalities. Commander connected with the reality lens, lost connection with the control room, then wound up in a different simulation. It's a good thing we came here. There has to be something hidden in the normal data. TV should call us when the connection is back online. Let's inspect the area until then. I think this crowd isn't the same as the one we're familiar with. For sure, as they're just surging inside of it. It almost looks like it's alive. That's what's odd about it. The crowd we know of is an inactive singularity. A bit of reenactment in the Ronavian Ironblood, Enterprise Meta, with the sirens called Code G, tried to activate it. But as really find out, the sirens managed to stop her. And ever since, the crown has been under siren control. But for some reason, this crown is up and running. Remember, we're not construction is that one we get data gathered from simulation. This crown doesn't have to be the one we know about. Does make the situation even worse. Cause if so, there's been a second crown this whole time that we didn't know existed. At the same time, how did not how did it fly not under just our noses, but the Northern Parliament's noses as well? Even a mirror C won't be able to hide an active crown. It releases way too much energy. Active, inactive, not active right now, yet it's also running. It's an artificial singularity like Iron Blood's Tower of Midgard. Like, not active at this very moment, but it was at some point in the past and we didn't know about it. I'm saying this is if the data is from the time the crown was active? It doesn't make sense, and it is possible. I don't have hard evidence that it was. There's no way a last of modest running across every single faction, even if the crown was inside of the mirror sea, and actually leak out if it was activated. The only conceivable explanation is it activated before we had all stab flash systems to monitor the crown. What I don't understand is, why is this data in the simulation of the Coral Sea? They travel through time and... <laughs> a booming rumble broke through the silence of the night. Interrupting Constellation's train of thought. What was that? Good lord! Constellation, look! A black tornado! Storm form from pure malice appeared out of nowhere in the distance. Only after the initial rumble subsided, a dark barrier stretched from the seas to the heavens. Dark clouds rapidly spread across the ocean and the sky, releasing the light from even the energy in the crown's heart. Coming towards us! We need to get out of here. Now, inside the CSR's control room. Warning. Hostile data detected in reality lens. Warning. Quarantine secrets cannot be initiated. Warning. Processing, processing mode of defense system is approaching critical levels. Release of hostile data for each increasing. Warning. Warning sirens blared while the control room flooded with error messages, paying it in a strobing red. Ah, it's red. The screen has turned red. TB, what's happening? What do we do? The Galactic War systems are under attack by a hostile program. Emergency quarantine measures have been initiated. The attack is coming from within the Sea of Stars and is propagating at an extremely high rate. The defense systems will cease functioning shortly. Only option is to initiate crisis mode. 
Crisis mode? Affirmative. Please break the emerging glass on the third control panel. Specifically, the glass panel of the red frame immediately under your right hand. Please break it and push the biggest button. Red glass. Red glass. There! Break the glass, push the button. Okay. Orders received. Verifying credentials. Credentials verified. Activating emergency orders and putting all systems in crisis mode. Commencing hostile program countermeasures. Soon life, you're still in the New York City simulation. <coughs> well, now the city had become so devastated as to render it unrecognizable. Buildings on the horizon were burning and crumbling. This is the work of a black tornado, suddenly appearing and ravaging everything in mere minutes. See if stars generate that black tornado too? But why? Why do that? This Rochelle? It is a testing area, so not like it's any harm done. Princeton, there are enemies coming towards us. Enemies? I want to see his miss. I wonder if those ships are not. Oh, wait, the commander's file said something about this. There's a hostile enemy that took the form of mist, appearing at the same time as the black tornado did. So, we're finding mist now? No, but it sounds like that if you didn't read the files. So, it's simply the mist is a projection of something or someone from a higher dimension. Not in our dimension per se, which way they look so hazy. So, that's why we can't take measurements of them. Got it. I'll be careful. Get ready to fight. Weird. <laughs> Seems that things are rapidly coming foo bar, but I forgot to check what that symbol was. Dang it. I'll get around to it in a minute. I like Kasumi over here, just like, I don't know, buddy. And now we're in the full rock territory, apparently. Are supposed to like techno rock? Yeah, let's see what this does. Delta 15 drones are empowering your ships. Your fleet is 10% increased torpedo, firepower, and aviation. Not bad, not bad at all. My congestion is getting worse by the second. Thank god this will be the last uh, recording session of the day. I mean, I know she's just a, uh, basically a simulation of an Arbiter, but it's always kind of funny to have one working with us for once. Even if, uh, Princeton and Laffy were kind of ordered to give her the cold shoulder, which is, uh, beyond funny. <laughs> she's just getting the short end of the stick, because we're ordered not to talk to her. Bonk. I hit the button, why are not confirming? Thank you. I think that after this next one, the boss will appear. Because it's like 15, because it's 3 clears, that's 7, and then 4 and 4. I have been entrusted with a possession to keep safe temporarily, it seems. Mostly because they're cleaning stuff because we have family arrived later today. Princeton, you okay? Yeah, thanks for the cover. With these numbers, 
Plus, they show up out of nowhere and won't get off our tails. It's okay. I'll deal with them somehow. I'll keep you safe. Yeah, I'll come back after I'm done clearing these guys out. Give me a sec. And we're back. How are we doing today? Answer that question. Should be good, because we all exist. I don't know. I, I don't know what the point of that was, dude. I'm, like, tired and vaguely high. I've been taking, like, five different kinds of medications. Leave me alone. What's this? Well, I guess we'll never know. Sorry I couldn't catch up with you sooner. I only remembered a bunch of stuff at once. I see. So you've been using my data to run your simulations. Typical. Leave it to tower to muddy the waters. What the? She sounds so different all of a sudden. Not a simulation, are you? Uh oh. Princeton, remember the regulations. Regulations? So that's why you wouldn't say a word. Well, I've already broken them, so it doesn't matter now. Devil, I don't care whether you're a sim real or a simulation. I'm taking you down. Taking me down? Now? Say, do you have any idea how much of a mess you're in right now? We're going to take you down, no matter what it takes. Help, boy. I think getting a game over will bring you back to reality. I have bad news for you. What are you talking about? Once the simulation is over, do you know where you are right now? Inside simulation created by the Sea of Stars system? And do you know where that simulation space is located? Actually, let's go on a step further. Do you know how the galactic core is even able to generate simulated worlds in the first place? I don't know. It's the right Sea of Stars, so... Really? First day on the job, you caught up with this mess? <laughs> How interesting. That's making me feel better knowing there are folks out there with lucky people worse than mine. So I'm in a good mood. I'll leave in a little something. You see? Don't... Don't tell them. And who are you telling me what not to do? Ah, of course. You've got to go to concealing yourself. Fine, I won't tell them. I'll just watch what happens. You really set me free if I help you out? I don't have a plan. Try off and miss all the chaos. That's a good idea. We have a deal. Who are you talking to? Nobody. My speed sympathizer was just on the fr synthesizer was just on the fritz. Listen up, I hate dealing with those harbingers as much as you do. So I'm gonna help you out this one time. Help you as much as the vessel is able to, anyway. Sheep knockoff, but it's better than nothing. Looks like those missed entities. You two run that away in the meantime. Yeah, throw that glowing thing. I'll send Laffy the exact coordinates. If there you'll be able to exit the simulation. No go. Laffy? Yeah. Communicates to send me some coordinates. Glowy coordinates. Says you have no choice but to go and check it out. You're off the hook this time, devil. Let's go, Princeton. Well, time to spend some time clearing this out, so I'll be back for either the final clear or if there's some story in between then. Let's wrap this up, shall we? Yeah, this song is actually surprisingly pretty good. Sea of Stars control battle. TV's back. The Sea of Stars control room. TV's at all the hostile data reached on. TV, it glowed again. I'll break the glass. Don't worry, Anchorage. 
In crisis mode, I have full control of all resources in the Sea of Stars. Hmm? In other words, there's no need for you to break the glass. Status report. I successfully isolated the data within hostile data for the sandbox. This time, it is impossible to leave the data. The hostile data is back our communication system. Taking the system offline to physically isolate it from said data. It will be impossible to leave the control room or communicate with the outside. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm right here. TP, go! Find that data. I'll draw you a picture. Thank you for that. Question. Why have you mentioned the act of drawing? Hmm? Don't you draw too? You drew that on the screen. It's cute. On the screen? There's no drawing. It's only a visual display of the affected area. But it looks like a drawing. Um, like a beacon? And letters. You see beacons, letters. Synchronizing analysis module. Find visual data verification. No similar patterns found. TP, you don't see it? It's okay. I'll draw it. That's adorable. Well, unfortunately, I can't uh, continue onwards with this until sometime mid tomorrow. So, for now, I leave you again. Racing Dragon, signing off.